Hello, hello, hello everyone. I hope you are well. It has honestly been a minute and I feel like a video like this um, is long overdue. We are currently in January of 2023, a new year. Um, and I believe that God shows us things in every season of our life. He can show us something every day if we're open to it and acknowledge it. Um, but I recently started a job at the beginning of the year and I'm definitely excited for that. I am learning so much already and I feel like I don't know if I would say it's a dream job, but it's definitely in the realm of what I've been, you know, just trying to pursue for so long for like the majority of my adult years. Um, as you all know, or some may not know, I am in the military. So I feel like most of my adult life or young 20s, um, whatever you want to say, has been weaved and intertwined throughout the military you know on duty on orders um missions and trainings and so i never settled you know within my civilian career or on the civilian side um you know i was always doing things to make sure that i was uh professionally developing but I was still giving the greater focus to the military and I just thank God for taking me through everything he did to bring me here and so one thing that I deeply feel he is teaching me in this current season is to stop being so led by my feelings and learning to speak back to the negative thoughts that always always circulate in my mind and so that's why I said I feel like this um, video is overdue. I mean, I know a lot of us may struggle with different mental health issues. And I don't mean like, you know, even if you're diagnosed or not diagnosed, just dealing with things um, throughout life as you experience things, as the seasons change, you know, um, it's not always easy to just brush off what you feel. And there's a difference between feeling what you feel and being led by what you feel. And I think a lot of times we struggle because we press down the things that we feel instead of acknowledging them and allowing them to just be instead of thinking that they have so much power to the point where, okay, they're controlling everything I do. You know, it's hard for me to get up in the morning or I don't want to talk to anyone or it's taking my energy, it's depleting my energy. No, sometimes you have to give yourself time and space, just like you have time to eat, time to go to the bathroom, time to do your homework, time to work out, whatever. You need to set aside a time to feel. And a lot of people think like that doesn't make sense. If I'm sad right now, I'm sad in the moment. Yeah, but in that moment, like be self-aware do you allow yourself to really be sad or do you suppress those emotions or are you in front of people or at work or somewhere where you can't fully let it out and so that's just a small blurb of what I've been dealing with internally and I feel like God has bring it to the forefront of my mind so I wanted to share that with you all um as time goes on I will share more about this job that I'm in and just what I'm learning and how I'm growing and developing. So thanks for listening.